Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Damore. I'm the author of Untangled, guiding teenage girls through the seven transitions into adulthood. A lot of parents are surprised to find that when their daughter becomes a teenager, her feelings are all over the map. As one of my friends put it, my daughter has five different intense emotions before eight o'clock in the morning. This can leave everybody in the house wondering if things are okay. And what we know from neurological development in teenagers is, yep, this too is normal. Here's what we know about brain development in girls, especially teenage girls, and this is also true for teenage boys. The brain during adolescence remodels, it upgrades, and it upgrades in the same order that it was originally developed, which is from the back to the front. So it turns out the emotion centers are in the back of the brain. They get upgraded, they get amped up before the controls, which are in the front of the brain. The controls are the parts that keep us from overreacting to things. So one of the real challenges of being a teenager is that you have very, very strong emotional reactions to what look like small things to everybody else, and you haven't yet developed the neurological controls to keep those reactions from getting pretty big pretty fast. So what your daughter's feeling is intense and normal. One thing I think sometimes helps parents respond to these big, hard feelings is to say something along the lines of, is there anything I can do that won't make this worse? I have found that that reaction tends to help girls bring the feeling down to size, not feel like it's being dismissed, not feeling like the parent's going to try to interfere with the emotion, and yet gives the parents some way to react that is empathic and kind.